Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Power Apps Learning Channel. Today we are going to look at uh, how to replicate a quick edit functionality which is available in SharePoint list uh, in Power Apps. So we'll be showing the data and gallery control, all your records from your SharePoint list and how you can do the bulk edit option and submit it. So let's start with it. So these are the some steps which we will be following. So we'll be having or maintaining our local collection object uh, in which we'll be maintaining the updated records, updated information, and we'll be making use of patch function. So I had already uploaded an, another video to do the bulk update uh, or bulk insert, how to insert uh, records in bulk in SharePoint list. Uh, check out this video. I'll be just adding a link on top. Uh, and then how to update the records in bulk. For that, we'll be using patch function. So let's switch to the Power App Studio. This is our demo app. I'll just preview this. Let's run this. So this is our data, uh, which is coming from this SharePoint list. So let me just click on quick edit option. Once you do the quick edit, as you can see, we have made the controls enabled. So you can have as many columns as you want as per your need. So let me just update these records. So I have updated some of the entries and let me just click on save changes. So the changes have been saved. Let's switch to the SharePoint list and refresh it. Let's see if the changes get reflected. So as you can see, uh, whatever changes or columns uh, or records which we had updated, only those got updated here. And uh, so let's see how we have achieved this. What all things we have covered up in this. Uh, demonstration so first is this is the gallery control which is bound to a SharePoint list and if I show you the control this is a text input control which is bound to title this is bound to another column now how we made uh, this uh, control as view mode or edit mode is depending on the display mode this is the display mode property so Enable inline editing is a boolean variable. When you click on this edit icon, I'm setting it to true. That means we want to uh, enable the inline editing or quick editing. And as it's set to true, we are changing the display mode to edit. Otherwise, it will be view. Same is uh, applicable to the other uh, column also or other control also. So this is the part how you made your controls editable depending on when user click on this edit icon. Now next is once the changes are done, you're clicking on this uh, submit button. What all things we are doing? So this is our gallery three control. What we're doing, we're using for all function and we're iterating through all the items in the gallery and we are generating a collection with the columns which are matching to your SharePoint list or to your backend data. So it can be a SQL table also. So the column names has to match with your backend data source. In this case, it is ID, title and test column. And uh, using for all within this for all function, we are iterating through all the items and we are saving the values what user had entered from this uh, text input controls. Now, as we are going to update the records in bulk, we need we need to have the ID information in this collection so that the this, this function knows which uh, records to be updated. When you are inserting new records, you don't need this ID function. Of course, it will create uh, it will be auto generated. Now, once you create this, uh, your collection, local collection, 
we are just using a patch function this is your data source uh, name this is your sharepoint list name and then we are passing this collection object which you have generated locally so this function will update all the records in your backend data source and then once it is done we are just setting this enable editing in our boolean variable to false so that the view will get changed to the gallery will get changed to the view mode so and then on this refresh i am just again setting uh, so let me just show you again so when you click on this and if i click on it again i am just changing the edit mode uh, to false and refreshing our my list to pull the latest data so that's the thing in this video like this is just a simple trick you just need to make use of patch function to create your own uh, local collection and send that collection to your uh, data source using patch function just make sure the column names are matching and the data type also is matching with your backend data source that's it in this video uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I hope this will help you guys. Thank you for watching.